Hello, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Dina, and today we are starting chapter 9 of the Pokemon Super Mystery Dungeon. So here it says... Nothing, because it won't focus. You can do it. The next morning... Ah, so sleepy. I hardly got a wink of sleep after getting lectured until the sun came up. Not that I can really complain. It's true we snuck out without permission. Of course they're going to be mad. wonder how Chewie is holding up. Probably hearing it from Kyle Costa right now. Let's go check on him. Oh, uh oh, no sleep. Morning, child. Up and moving already? Sure got an earful last night, huh? But I'm sure Karakasa is just looking out for you kids. But I'm not. I'm not a Pokemon kid. I'm a human. He was probably just worried sick by the stunt you pulled. Hope you can understand that. Yeah, guess so. Well, that's great. By the way, or by the by, I haven't asked recently, but any more memories coming back to you? You remembering anything? Nope. Not even a little, huh? Well, no need to push yourself or anything. Reckon you've got pretty used to this world. Maybe it's time you saw some more. Sure, Cara Costa goes along like that, but personally, I'm of the school that thinks kids learn best by doing, you know? Of course, going out on adventures has some risk too, but you learn whole heaps. Never much noticed, but no sleep is pretty laid back when it comes to adventuring, huh? So, I say you just go on and have your little adventures around the village. Though, you should probably look out for the BDM. Summer vacation, ain't it? Might as well enjoy your freedom. Oh, oh alright. Let's see if Chewie is okay. Oop, Chewie, what do you think this is? This isn't clean at all. Alright, done at last. What part of this is done? Look. Right here, and here. <laughs> You've left more of it unclean than you have cleaned. I cleaned it, so I'm done. No, you're not. Unacceptable. Get back here and do it right. What? I guess Caracosta using cleaning as a punishment. <laughs> oh, there's a note. A slip of paper? Ah, oh, it's a note from Chewie. Dina read the note from Chewie. Dear Dina, sorry, but it looks like I won't be able to play with you again today. Caracosta is making you clean the house top to bottom to make up for last night. So we'll have to take a break from being Junior Expedition Society members today. Really, really sorry I can't go up today. Chewy. Sounds like Chewy's in a pretty tough spot. Oh well, it's just one day. Guess I can see if anybody else wants to go explore in a dungeon with me. Hmm. Oh, got quite a bunch of friends here. Shaman says, what? You guys found out. And you got lectured by Caracosta? Wow. I'd be scared to get one of his lectures. But I also felt bad about keeping it from my parents, said Dearly. So perhaps being found out is for the best, says Esper. After we parted ways with you guys last night, we actually had a little talk before we went back to our houses. We were thinking about coming clean to our parents rather than sneaking back in. So I told my parents about the whole thing last night after I got home. It seems that the grown-ups all react in their own different ways says Esper. Pancham says, I totally got chewed out by my mom. My head still hurts from all her yelling. Shomit says, I really heard it from my parents too. So everyone got in trouble, huh? Me too. But then my mom was crying, said Gumi. Dearling, yeah, we really made them worry. You know, that they just really care about us and don't want anything to happen to us. Esper says, getting yelled at a bit might be a good thing. I don't have any parents around to do even that much. Oh, that's too bad. Deerling said, We were all just talking about how glad we were to come clean before you got here. Really. And we were wondering how you and Chewie handled the situation. I feel better knowing that you had to sit through a massive lecture, too. Yeah, but Chewie and Dina didn't come clean. They got caught. Ha 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 ha. So what now? Tina, you know, you're thinking of heading into another dungeon? Who are you going to take with you? 
sounds rather fun. I would be okay with going. Yeah, I would like to take Esper because of the high level. <laughs> I'm down, said Panchim. I owe you one after last night. Shelmet said, I guess I owe you one too. I'm always happy to go, said Gumi. Darling, it looks like everyone is up for a bit more adventure. Naturally, I am too. Tina, you should choose who you want to go exploring with. Hmm, well in that case... Who would you like to go exploring dungeons with? Esper! Great, I'm looking forward to it. Thank you, Dina. Alright, then that's that. Good luck, Dina, and to you, Esper. So I guess we get to just choose whichever we want. What's in our bag? Hmm. Okay. Well, I guess let's just go to one at random. Where do you want to go? Ooh, that one says new down there. Mm. Oh, odd field. I guess we've not been there before? I'm not sure. Can't really remember. Yeah, let's take one more. I kind of want Sylvan Room. Whoa, Salamence level 50. <laughs> that must be like cheating though, wouldn't it? Ooh, we also have Molga level 30. Dunsparce 29. Ooh. Wonder why they weren't allowed. Oh yeah, because it was um the preset team. Let's go Sylvan Room though. Okay. Let's go. Get some experience points, at the very least. Alright. So I guess we get a break from the uh, storyline to just explore wherever we want, which is kind of cool. Spinner egg. Ooh, nice. Good job, Esper. Whoop. Oh, it's a Tyrog. Let's do peck. Super effective. Oh, I guess because I flinched it wouldn't let me. Uh oh, I have very low HP. Come on. Yes, good job. <laughs> hmm. Oh, and there's the next level already. I suppose let's go. Oop. Already there's a timber. Peck. Hmm. Okay. I wonder if I could have used that um connection orb or whatever, or if Chewy had to be with me. They said Chewy said that we should take a break from super adventuring, but I guess that didn't really mean that I had to, unless we have to do it together. Not sure how that works. Hmm. Oh, here come some enemies. There's so many timber. Hmm, peck. Uh oh, spinner. Uh-oh, scary face. Wow, this is a tough spinner egg. Sleep guard? Sure, I'll take it. Hmm. Oop, uh-oh. Sylveon's poisoned. Peck. Super effective. What's down this way? Oh, poor Sylveon. Oh wait, do I have a berry that she could use? Mm, nope. Oh well. Oh, this is where we've already been. Go this way. 
Oh, and that's the next level. Third floor of the odd field. Oh, there's a painted Pokemon on this floor. Go up to the Pokemon and give it an apple. Interesting. I wonder who it is. Oops. <laughs> Forgot they can't go on water. Anyone painted on this floor? No, but there is an apple. Hmm. Let's switch it for a chestnut berry. Hmm. Oh! A munchlax can't move from hunger. Let's give it an apple. Yes! Munch, munch, munch. Yay, munchlax recovered from fainting! Great job! Rescued him! That was really yummy. You don't have any more. Connection orb started shining. Oh, I guess that's who uh, I was meant to help. I just hadn't specifically sought out this Munchlax beforehand. Just happened to come across him. The Pokesplorers and Munchlax have been connected. Oh, look at that. Connections have been spread even further. And... By Munchlax's introduction... Ooh! What's this? Marstomp. Connected. The Pokesplorers and Marstomp have been connected. Ooh! Wow. Connections have spread even further. Would you like to exit the dungeon? Yes, I think so. Nice. That didn't take very long at all. Successfully finished the expedition of the Odd Field. No more expeditions today. Oh, that's too bad. Esper says, that was fairly entertaining. I'll give you this as a reward for inviting me along. Got silver spikes. Feel free to call on me again next time. I wonder what silver spikes do. Hmm. Connected. The focus blurs and the kids from school. Panchin, Shelmet, Deerling, Gumi, and Esper are connected. Okay, Pops, how about this time? Shoddy work here, very sloppy here, but I guess it'll do for now. You're done. Alright, said Chewie. I'm finally done cleaning. I'm out of here. Hey, where do you think you're going? Ah, Dima. I finally finished all that cleaning. Sorry about flaking on you today. But I should be back as a junior expedition society member tomorrow. Don't worry. Oh, Dina, back already? Same as soon as leave. Ah, and I see you're with your little pal. Seems like you were in it pretty deep with old Caracosta. Yeah, but I get why he was so mad this time, so I guess I can't argue with it. Besides, he's always mad about something. Doesn't really even face him anymore. Is that so? Well, I suppose that's as fine a way to look at it. A fine a way as any to look at it. I like seeing young kids being adventurous and getting out there personally. Really? You're totally the opposite of my old pops then? You think maybe my old pops is wrong? I wouldn't say he's wrong, no. He just cares about you, so he worries, that's all. Just not the type to worry much about things. The world has all types of folks. Maybe it's just because I like going on adventures myself. Yeah, huh? So, where around the village do you want to explore next, Mr. Nuzzly? Around the village? Well, if I had to say, then I'd reckon I'd sure like to see what lies up on Revelation Mountain. Revelation Mountain? You mean that Revelation Mountain? I wonder, hmm. But, but Revelation Mountain is like a sacred mountain or something. I thought you weren't supposed to go there. Well, I reckon so. But doesn't all that mystery get your motor running? <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm new to these parts, and don't really rightly know exactly why that mountain's off limits. But I feel like I ought to be able to at least go have a look see. Yeah, I know what you mean. But if I went, I'd probably get a lecture to end all lectures. 
<laughs> no one said you had to go. All I'm trying to say is, you shouldn't lose that sense of curiosity and adventure. If you really want to keep it alive, sometimes you gotta be a bit reckless. I reckon it's fine to go a little too far sometimes, as long as it's just a little. Anyway, you kids get back out there and give it your all again tomorrow. So Chewie and Dina play together until the sun set at last. Would you like to save your adventure? Yep. Okay. Save completed. The next morning. Good morning, Dina, said Chewie. Let's do our best out there today. Cool, so I guess let's check the Pocus Plur Connection Orb thingy and see who needs our help. Um, so, here's Lily Pup. Let's view the post. Polyrath River. Okay, let's do that. Okay, and onward to the Polyrath River. Uh-oh, there's people. Huh? Isn't that Pelipper? What's going on? That really was Pelipper, wasn't it? I wonder if something's going on. Lumber says, I read all about it in the special edition. Apparently, there's been a rash of incidents of Pokemon turning to stone. What Pokemon are turning to stone? You mean like, stone stone? They're turning into rocks? Why would they? I have no idea, said Radicate. This is the first I've heard of it, says Hippopotas. <laughs> Pokemon turning into stone, really. Is it happening here in our village, said Chewie? Not a whisper of it. Things are as peaceful as can be. There have been no signs of such a thing happening anywhere around here. Lumber says, I suppose it's just affecting faraway places like Lively Town. Yeah, we're pretty isolated out here, said Chewie. There are lots of things we don't know about going on outside our village. Man, I can't wait to get out of the village and see more of the world. Lumber says, er, you do remember you're just a kid, right? And the world is wide and full of all kinds of dangerous things. You could get turned into stone even. Ugh, yeah, I know that. I'll just have to wait until I'm older. Okay, so... Eh, turning into stone and whatnot. Okay, well... I guess that's setting up for the next story plot, but in the meantime, let's go to mm, Polyrath River. Yes, let's go save Lillipop. And I think this is a good amount of people. I think it would be just too easy if we use somebody like Salamence, so. Okay, Lillipop is with us. Um, I forgot to check what we were looking for. Yes. <laughs> Let's go check out that locked door together. So there's some sort of a locked door somewhere that we need to check out with a li lily pup. And we've got Drowsy in the way. Uh oh, here comes a Joltik. I'll go this way, and uh, use Mud Slap. See if, in the meantime, my other buddies can take care of it. Oh. Ah, pound, take that. 
Come on, Sylveon, help me out. Oh well, guess I didn't need it. Ooh, look at all these. Poison guard. That's useful. Ah, almost woke up a Luxray. Let's swap that for a Rostray. And let's go. Polyrath for the basement floor too. I can uh, see my I can see my um battery on my camera is about to die, but that should take us about to the right episode length, I think. <laughs> if this one ends up being a bit short, I guess you'll know what happened. But I wasn't expecting to fully get to complete this mission in this uh, episode anyway, so. Woo! It like threw me right at Luxray. <laughs> or Luxio, sorry. Mud slap! Take that! Woo! So I guess after um, trying to do that one that one dungeon for like three episodes worth, <laughs> getting to do two missions in one is pretty cool. Did you know that Joltik is like my favorite Pokemon? <laughs> I don't know why. Probably because it's just so cute, and I like. I don't know that it's like an electric bug that like eats uh, electricity and stuff. I don't know. Ooh, the drowsy was sleeping when I woke him up. Ah, oh, but then he put me to sleep. <laughs> hmm. Do I have anything to wake myself up? I don't know. What is this? Chesto prevents you from going to sleep, but it doesn't wake you up. That's weird. Peck. Ooh, Psybeam. Nice. Alright. So, nothing this way. How about over here? Hmm. Confusion. Whoopsies. Didn't realize that we were fighting over here. Ah, oh, good job. What else do we have? Whoop, to the next level! Let's go! We're on the third floor already. Hmm. I'll just have a power boost. Hmm. We're on berry. Let's swap that for... Oh, I don't know. Pounce wand, how about that? What else do we have? Let's go this way. Uh oh. We've got an enemy in front. Hmm. Yeah, nice. Beat that drowsy. So, let's hurry up and get to the next level. Ooh. It's not letting me move. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Let's do much slap. Hmm, yes. Give it to Sylvie. Let's slap. No! Ah! 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 Ah. I need... a Norm Day. Woo! Survive. Oh, good. Come on. Oh no, Lillipop! He warped somewhere on this floor. Ooh, do we have to go get him? Uh-oh. I didn't think about that possibility. Hmm. I guess we have to go find Lily Pup. 
I think it's down here from looking at the map. Hmm. Let's not swap that for... We only have a defense one. Payback. There we go. Spoink. Uh-oh. Spoink. Jumped. Did that? Okay. Uh-oh, Joltix from behind. Mm. Oh, nice. Good job. I was stuck. Ah, oh, there's the little pup. We don't have an item to revive him. Warped somewhere on this floor? Hmm, uh-oh. So what happens if I can't revive Lily Pup? Hmm, I guess I just have to keep going, huh? Hmm. Well, he's over here. Maybe somewhere in here we'll find a way to revive. Oops. Hmm. Let's see. Oops, I went too far. Boop, boop, back up. So there's Lily Pup. But yeah, there's no items to revive it. Hmm. I suppose we'll just have to. Go to the next level and see what happens. I mean, there's some poke dollars, but not like any uh, revival seeds. Hmm. I guess we can go ahead and collect these, but. Oh. Spoink. Trying to get me. Back off, Spoink. Well, hopefully, we can still complete the mission, even if Lily Pup is fainted. Lily Pup is fainted, and you can't complete the expedition without reviving it. Okay, I guess we gotta give up. That's too bad. Well, if that's the case, then I think we have to leave the dungeon, don't we? Hmm. Well, here's the next level. Can we just leave? Would you like to go on? Um, I guess so. I forget how deep, or how much, how many floors this place has. Oops, sweet payback. Mm, we can have that. I don't know, maybe we'll get lucky and find a revival seed on this floor? I don't know. But I don't think we can go back up, because I like never see stairs going up that I can remember. Hmm. Well, we'll go on for a little bit longer and then see what happens. Maybe we're near the end anyway. We'll just have to try this one again. Oh well. That's <laughs> point.
that's Kekleon. Got a whole bunch of items. Oh, it's a store. I see. Well, why wouldn't you sell me a revival seed? That's annoying. Ooh, Clauncher. And it said that the orb reacted? Wonder why. Whoa, he's bouncy. Oop. No, no, run away. Sneak. Come on. To the next level. Launcher. Have a sleep payback. Whoop. Charge beam was upgraded. Nice. Splink. Hmm. Uh oh. Got some. Joltik trying to get us. Oops, looks like Esper wants to fight. <laughs> oh, there we go. Mm -mm -mm. Da -da -da. There we go. How about up this way? How about over this way? Ooh, Splink and a Luxio. Peck. Hmm. Fine then, I guess I'll be fighting- Oh no, I am weak to you. I forgot. And I have no more mutts left. Hmm. Um. Sneak. How about I'll just let them deal with it? Nice. I'll eat the apple. And what is this? Give this to you. Mm, where else are we going? Ah, nice. I'll use the elixir on myself. And go this way. I guess even if I fail this um this mission, I'm still getting like experience points, so that's good. Ah, oh, missed it. Oh yeah, I forgot I can dash. Haha. <laughs> Wee. <laughs> mm, peck. Nice. Mm. Let's get rid of a plain seed. Uh oh, enemies. Hmm. They're both electric types, not good for me. Nice. Go this way. Oh, and that's to the next level. So we have finished our expedition. Unfortunately didn't uh, get to do whatever Lollipop wanted, but we can try that again another time. And Chewie says, oh hey Pops, you too, on your way home? Yeah. Perfect timing then. I was just about to get started on making dinner. You come home and help me. What? 
in return, you'll get to eat something extra tasty tonight. Sound fair? Alright. If it'll give me something good to eat, then I've gotta do it. I'll help. It's like we have a deal. Come along then. Uh, Pops? What is it? What kind of place is Revelation Mountain? I mean, I know we're not supposed to go there, but... That's right. Revelation Mountain has been a sacred site for our village since long ago. It's a taboo that has been passed down from generation to generation. Why is it taboo? I don't know. What? You don't? Well, what's up there? I don't know that either. I suppose there must be something sacred up there. We have a tradition here on Serene Village of guarding the mountain. That's all I know. It's a tradition that we inherited from our parents and their parents before them. You'd better not tell me. You're not thinking of going up there. No, of course not. I started thinking about it when Mr. Nuzleaf was saying how mysterious it was. Then I started wondering why it was that we're not supposed to go there. I see. That's alright then. As long as you remember that you're not to go there. Alright, then let's head back home and get started on that dinner. Dina, do you want to come along? Great, now we all get to eat the delicious food together. Yay! Let's save the adventure! Well, I guess this is going to be a kind of long episode, but... Thanks for coming along with two kind of side quests here that weren't really with the full storyline. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!